Welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be making another coil basket. Today, I will be using this half inch piping, which is basically just braided rope. It is about 12 millimeters, so this basket will be thicker and larger than the last one that I made, and I am going to be using this five millimeter braided macrame cord. Okay, so let's get started. As always, I will put a link in the description box for both of these products. And when you are using this brand of macrame cord, if you did not see my other video, you just look for the side that has a knot and you start to pull on that. So when you are making a coil basket, there are no exact measurements that I am aware of. I normally just grab a bunch like this, cut it, and this is what I start to work with. You don't want it to be too long because it has more of a chance to get all knotted up because you just keep adding to it. So I'll be using this again, but it's always good to just add another little knot to it just so that you remember which end that you should be using. So for this rope, I do not cut it off. I just leave it on and then just use it until I'm done. So I will give myself a fair amount to start with. That should be good. Okay, so once we put one end in the needle, Cutting this at an angle will help it wrap easier when it's time to hide it. We are going to place about three inches onto this filler piece and begin wrapping, but leave this end open. Okay, now I'm going to turn this. Okay, and just continue wrapping. Okay, now we will turn it again. Okay, so now we will continue to wrap. Just try to hold it as tight as you can. This thicker rope, this thicker one makes it a little harder on your hands when you are, are doing this center part, but it'll get easier as you go. Now I'm going to do this wrap here four times. Okay, there's four. And then I'm gonna put it through the center again. And I'm going to cover that piece that got open right there and then do another four. Okay, and just continue, do another four. Place it in the center. And we will just continue this same process over and over. So I will fast forward through this part until I show you the next row. Okay, so at this point, you can go in the center one more time and wrap it over, but because I can tell it has a nice angle and it's like directly across from this piece, I'm going to begin my next set here. So now all the rest of them will go into this one. So no more in the center and begin the next row.
So just continue doing this and then when you run out of a piece of cord, once I run out of this, I will show you how to add the next piece. Or you can also add a separate color with the same process. Okay, so my cord is running out. So I will give it another two wraps. Actually, I'll go for the third to make this tail end nice and short. So now I'm going to take my new piece and I'm going to hold it so they're both flat against the center piece and I'm going to wrap it. In this case, I'm going to wrap it once because that was on my fourth and I'm going to place it through. And wrap it and then I still have those two pieces I'm gonna hold on to them and I'm going to make sure I wrap around them so I'm gonna do my four wraps again and now they're nice and tight and in place you can trim those off or just continue wrapping until they're covered and so just continue doing the same process until you have the center as large as you would like it to be so your bottom base so because this is so much thicker, you're going to have a larger basket with less rows. Okay, so I will continue and then when I am ready to start the sides, I will be back. Okay, I have finished the bottom part for my basket and I wanted to show you really quick. So again, this piping that I'm using is like half an inch thick and I'm using five millimeter braided cord. So this basket that I made is also eight rounds just like this but I was using the piping that is six millimeters, so it's half the size with three millimeter braided, um, braided cord around it. So just in comparison, if you were to use the larger thick one like I am, it's the same amount of rounds, but it's such a huge difference with the size. So now I'm going to start the sides. So to do so, we are going to do the same process that we've been doing. We are just going to pull this up just a little bit and so as we continue to wrap, when you are ready to put it into here, just make sure that this is slightly elevated and that is how we will start our sides. So we are going to do a full round at the same height and then keep in mind if you want your basket to just be more straight up and down, you're going to just go right over this layer. You can still do this one row just slightly elevated but each continuous row would be directly over like that. If you want it to kind of go out more like a bowl, you can just continue to keep them kind of stacked at an angle like that and it will just create it more like that for you. Okay, so I'm gonna continue this round and then I will be back when it's done. Okay, I just completed that round and I am actually going to continue doing it at that angle so that it goes out more into a bowl shape. So I am going to do the same thing again where I continue wrapping, but just make sure you leave it, if you want it to be like this, just leave it at a slant and it'll continue just going a little bit more out. If you wanna make it more like this, then at this point you would just go directly over the row you just did. And that is it, just continue doing this until you have your desired size basket. So I will continue doing more and then I will show you what I end up with. Okay, so I am just about done. I used a lot of macrame cord. This is what I have left. I ended up with about four rounds high. And now to finish this, you have a few options. You can just cut down the side and just continue to wrap it until you hide that inner cord. But today I think I am going to try a design. So what you're going to do 
take your remaining cord, figure out what you would like to do. So if you want to stop it here, you would just cut this down at an angle and then just continue to wrap until it's completely covered. There are people that make loops like this, which you would just cover it and then just again, wrap it all the way around. I think I am going to give it a loop like that and then weave it into the side here. So to do that, I am just going to get the macrame cord we were using and I'm going to continue to wrap it. You're not going to go through this anymore. So just cover the rope. So you're just going to continue wrapping it until most of this is covered. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have wrapped it and it is about 10 inches long. Okay, I decided I'm actually going to give it like a swirl like this. So I just need to wrap it just a little bit more until I get to this side so that I can connect it here. Okay, I'm just holding this in place here. All I did was wrap it and then literally just swirl it around. So now I am going to take my needle end and I'm going to put it through this row here. Right here, sorry about that, right here. So that I can start tying it down. And I'm gonna do it again. Okay, so now when I let go, it is staying in its place. So if you're worried about this coming undone, you can either glue it or get another piece of this cord and stitch it through, or even a piece of thread, something that you don't really see, but I don't think it's going to undo or like do anything. I think it'll be fine just where it's at. So I'm going to do this a few more times. secure so if you want you can go through the back of this and keep weaving it in and out but I'm good with it being right here so now I need to attach this piece here so we're gonna cut this down at an angle so I'm gonna go here but because it's so thick I'm gonna try to thin it out even more Okay, now I'm going to wrap this a few times. And then now I'm going to go through this one underneath to finish the rest of it. You just want to turn it around and make sure that this side is being covered as well, which mine is. Some of it just came off, but that was convenient for me because it was a little messy. So I'm gonna do another one. Okay, we are almost done. I think I will do two more. One. And here will be two. Okay, so that is all covered. Could go from this point, you could, I could have flattened it out a little bit more to make it a little less obvious with this hump, but 
it's okay I don't mind it one bit and then now we are on the inside and we just need to weave this in kind of like when you're doing crochet to hide it hard to pull because of all this thick rope but there we go I got it in okay so now that is in and you can just kind of push it underneath and you won't even see it you can glue it if you want or you know just leave it you can tie a little knot I'm just going to snip off the end and I'm gonna leave it like that so there it is it is finished. It is beautiful. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. It's really big. Um, let me tell you how big it is actually. It is 12 and a half inches across. So it is a really good size basket slash tray. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.